This is a Mohawk keyboard and has these really bizarre key tops that are actually really bad. This keyboard is from the Soviet Union. It has no travel. It's very frustrating. IBM 3278 Beam Spring keyboard. It's delightfully clicky. The IBM AT Model F Univac Uniscope 100 NEC TC 1018. I'm Jacob. I really like keyboards. I bought my first keyboard at 19. Now I have 600 keyboards. I design keyboards, I collect keyboards to make keyboards better because I don't believe that society has done justice for keyboards. In the keyboard world, there's a lot of variety. It's almost like shoes. You go to a shoe store, you have to try all of them. How they feel, how they look, all those different things. Around 2007, I have had money for the first time and I could spend it on frivolous things. I wanted to make a computer. And I started looking at the keyboard. It's like, okay, if I had unlimited money, what could I buy? I realized rather quickly that the options were not that interesting. A lot of people held the opinion that older keyboards were better. These keyboards that had existed prior, they're just trash now, or they were trash then. And so all you go is see someone's junky computer and the keyboard, and you go over to it, you press a key, oh, that one clicks, or oh, that one feels different. I, just, I wanted to try them because the internet had no knowledge of them. And so I started hunting on eBay. I'm from Canada. And I moved to the U.S. for the sole reason that eBay shipping was cheaper. So, in every single one of these boxes is at least one keyboard. All of the boxes have to be the same size. I am OCD about the labels. So the reason I don't have more labels is because I have to have enough information on the labels. My current estimate is around 600 different keyboards. People ask me what my favorite keyboard is. It should be smooth. It shouldn't be jaggy. Some people sort of prefer to like build it smooth and it shouldn't provide sudden resistance. Key tops should be well adapted to your fingers. The keyboard should be shaped like your hand. I wanted to tell people how switches feel. You can buy machines that can do this, but they cost tens of thousands of dollars. So I built one. I've measured 100, 120 switches so far. I keep thinking every year, I've bought all the keyboards. Like I, 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 think I've, I think I've run out, eBay has run dry. And every year it proves me wrong. Whenever that thought comes up, it's like, but I have cool ideas. Why haven't people designed that yet? So it's like, okay, I guess we should start a company. Input Club makes entirely open hardware, open source keyboards. Our goal is to make keyboards people actually want to buy. Maybe that hot spots a little bit. It's not easy to make hardware, but it doesn't disappear. You have something at the end of the day. It's like a, a piece of artwork in a museum. You can say, I made that. If people start making better keyboards, my job is done. If that happens, I will be happy.